Hey guys, it's Daniel, licensed therapist. Why do I do these videos? It's for you guys. And a recent subscriber asked for this topic. So Eula, this one's for you. Breakups. Breakups are actually something I deal with a lot with clients. My clients are out there, they're in relationships, they're looking for relationships. So naturally breakups happen and we have to deal with them. And I do have to say this, never have I ever, I mean ever, not one single time, have I had a client not get over a breakup. And the majority of them, they go into the breakup thinking, I'm never going to get over this. But eventually, all of them do. In fact, I had one client who came back to me. He was an old client and he wanted to see me because he was trying to get over a breakup. And he said he found the perfect girl, but it didn't work out. And he thought that he was never going to get over her. But you know what? After a few weeks, he was doing just fine and he was over her. But first of all, let's define what a breakup is. A breakup is a loss of a relationship, obviously, but I want to focus on that word loss. When we have loss, what happens? We have to mourn. And what's mourning? Well, mourning is just feeling the pain of the loss. So breakups, they're painful. Unfortunately, there's no way to avoid it. So what do we have to do? Well, what we have to do is we have to honor our feelings. We just have to go through the mourning process and really just feel the loss, feel the pain. So actually time is the real remedy when it comes to breakups. With two caveats, you have to do these two things and you do that with time, then you'll get over your breakup. Thing number one you have to do is don't do anything that feeds that connection with your ex. Your brain is telling you you're in pain. And if you want that pain to go away, just have some kind of connection with that person. But don't do it. Don't call them. Don't email them. Don't text them. Don't go onto their social. Don't go to that place where you had your first date. Don't listen to that song. Don't look at the pictures. Don't do any of those things. Because if you do do them, you are going to strengthen that connection. And it's just going to make it even more painful. So don't do any of those things. And secondly, what you have to be very careful of is allowing your mind to wander too much. Look, you're going to think about your ex. You had a connection, like I said, but you have to be very careful. You don't go into that hypothetical situation. Oh, maybe they're going to be sorry and they're going to call you. Maybe they've changed and they're going to be able to treat you like you deserve. And then maybe you're going to get married and have children. All of a sudden you're in this fairy tale future and you spent time thinking about that person in a positive way. Once again, what does that do? It strengthens that connection and we don't want to do that. So look, if you just take time, allow yourself to feel the feelings, don't do any of those things that strengthens that connection. I guarantee you that connection will weaken and over time it'll be gone. But look, that part is easy. I feel like that part is somewhat inevitable. Something that I'm more concerned about is what do you take away from the breakup? What is a message that you sent or what is a truth that you believe from that severing of that connection? And I feel like there's a lot of very potentially dangerous thoughts and messages that you can take away. Maybe you'll think that I'm not attractive or I'll never find anybody like this. I'm going to die alone or I'm not valuable or I'm not good enough. Those things are the real damage that comes from breakups. And we want to stay very far away from that. So what do you do? You control the narrative and how you think about the breakup. Find something positive. If it was difficult, tell yourself you're resilient. If there's something toxic that you were doing that caused the end of the relationship, tell yourself, that's great. Now I know I can work on myself so that I can have good relationships. Whatever it is, whatever happened, I believe that there's a positive narrative there that you should be thinking about. And I want you to protect yourself. Don't allow this breakup to bring you down, make you see yourself in any type of lower way. So there it is, guys. That's how I deal with breakups and I've found it to be very successful with my clients. Do you disagree? If you do, leave it in the comments down there. And if you have anything you want me to react to, whether it's a movie or a concept or something in your personal life, leave it in the comments. I'll do my best to get to it. Thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you next time.